people, welcome to episode 164 of Credit 101. In this episode, we're going to talk about should you close your credit card account? Now, I want you guys to know that I know some of y'all going to click off, but don't be closing all accounts, okay? Try to keep them open and let's kind of go over a few things I want you guys to think about. So I want you to think about the overall impact to your credit score when you close your account. If you have a credit card, once you close that account, now you're messing with your utilization because now you have less money available to you. So your overall utilization is possibly going to go down. And then also your length of credit history. When you start closing your older accounts, your old accounts is going to shorten your average age of accounts and your average age of accounts is something that people have to purchase like you know you can always add a new credit card to your credit report um you have to really purchase age like you can, that's something you'll have to buy in terms of being added as an authorized user but you got your own credit cards that people would love to be on as an authorized user but a lot of people just close these so i don't want you guys to close them now something to think about though when it's come down to closing accounts if these cards have high annual fees you might want to consider closing them or you can ask to downgrade the credit card so that you can get like a no fee card that's something that you can consider especially for those people um that have those credit cards that have maintenance fees maybe they finally got you to where you need to be in terms of your credit score is higher but if they have very very high fees or annual fees then you may want to consider go ahead and closing it but make sure before you think about just closing your credit card accounts i always tell people to make sure that you have at least four credit cards for good credit cards, no annual fees. Let these get old for at least a year before you consider it. And I'm I'm saying at least a year, but I do still have an Open Sky credit card that I had for years. I do not use um, the Open Sky credit card, but I have had this credit card for years. I refuse to close that credit card because of it's, it has age to it. Like, you know, it's an old account, very, very old account. And it is an annual fee on there. I think the annual fee is like $39 um, per year. And I refuse to close that one. So just keep that in mind. That's my disclaimer because I am saying wait a year, but it's like, Kitty, you have yet to close <laughs> that one account. But for some people to have like a hundred and something dollar annual fee, $79 annual fee, um, or if you guys were to have those maintenance fee that where you charge they charge you eight dollars per month you need to close those like i will close those right away now if you guys have any unused cards make sure that you guys please go purchase something at least every six months because they'll close your credit cards due to inactivity i had plenty of credit cards i mean with a four thousand dollar balance before that i did not use because it was a store credit card and they had like some nice stuff i wanted to get and i felt like I didn't want to purchase that stuff yet, but I didn't use it. They closed it due to inactivity. But granted, I think it was at that two-year mark, they closed it. But I always tell people they can close it sooner or they can actually lower your limit sooner. So I tell people to make sure that they go and swipe and use those cars that they just have sitting around. They're unused. Now, I said this already. Consider interest rates, too. Um, and I only say consider interest rates if you guys are carrying a balance but i wouldn't say necessarily close it okay um i would just say keep the account open and do balance transfer to like a zero percent apr credit card i would not tell you guys to close it because of the interest rate because again i tell you guys pay your statement balance by due date you'll never be charging the interest so we're not thinking about those type of things in a way so if you guys can stick to that you guys will be fine okay but don't close it based off no interest rate. That'd be crazy. Um, consider like the rewards and the benefits in terms of this credit card. If you get any cash back, travel points, or any other perks, think about what you'll be losing when you actually close this account. Okay. And if you're managing so many credit cards and you're feeling overwhelmed, I actually don't have my sheet up but if you go to my website i'm about to show you guys that pretty soon i have a utilization tracker on there where you can literally list all of your credit cards put all the due dates on there and i'm happy that i created this document because i was very unorganized with my credit cards very unorganized and that's how i ended up getting late payments a lot in the past i mean years years ago so i tell people now just list all your credit cards list all the balances list all the limits and it can help you manage it better and 
hopefully it will help you figure out some of your personal financial goals in terms of if you want to pay off any debt. Some people have um, security concerns about their credit card and they want to close it because of security. And I just don't think you guys should close because of security. If anything, go and see if you have any transactions on a credit card. And this is what I do too. I'm, I'm not going to just lie. This is what I do. And this may not be good. I just want to say this. I don't check all of my credit cards monthly. Um, I don't necessarily check all my credit cards monthly, but if you guys want to know if you have any security concerns, if you are having an unused credit card, you should be checking your bank account where that minimum monthly payment coming out of you should be checking that monthly because once you get a minimum a minimum payment due from that credit card, you immediately know it's fraud. And you have up to months um, to report the fraud. So if you were to see that minimum payment and you're like, I did not use this credit card, you already know that something is up. But don't be like me too. Um, this happened to me before where I got a minimum payment out and I could have swore somebody was doing some type of fraud to me. Y'all was the annual fee. <laughs> so keep this in mind too. So hopefully this helped you guys when it come down to should you close accounts i say keep them open unless it's some of them accounts that you shouldn't have got in the first place but you already built your life up now that you could just let that go okay hey beautiful people it's rakeen i'm back with another video in this video we're going to talk about the step-by-step -step guide on how to close a credit card account in the last episode we said should you if you guys know that you should close it let's talk about what you guys should do first off i want you guys to actually review the account i want you guys to ensure that you have your balance paid off they're going to want you to have your balance paid off if you have any pending transaction you have to wait till they post they take about two days usually to post but you have to wait till those transactions actually post and you pay it off before you can actually close the account you also want to check to see if you got any rewards or benefits if you have any rewards or benefits i suggest that you all please withdraw these different rewards or benefits because I found that when I had my Tumo card, I hated that they just closed the account because I couldn't take out my $13. And I, $13, I could have got me um, some coffee at Starbucks, you know, especially when you're working to be debt free. Every little bit counts. That's the reason why you even use some of these credit cards. So if you have any type of rewards there, use them up. Make sure you use up all your rewards or benefits before you actually close the account. And again, make sure that your balance is paid off. Clear all your balances. Make sure that you confirm this payment. And I want you all to contact the issuer also. You can contact the issuer to say that you want to close the account and they should be able to close the account right over the phone. Okay. You can also do a written request if you want. You can actually write them, let you know, letting them know that you want to actually close your account. I would suggest that you send this certified mail and you keep copies of it and you still call to verify because I just don't see why you just wouldn't call them to. So verify if you do not see everything getting closed, verify um, this right away that they're actually taking the actions to actually close it. Now, next, you want to actually monitor your, your account, too. So you want to see, you know, if they're actually closing, check the last statement. Make sure that everything is being closed and you want to verify this closure also on your credit reports. Your credit report will say you have a new closed account and then that's when you can know your account is actually fully closed. And understand that there is going to be adjustment when it comes down to your utilization because if you think about it, you have less debt that's going to be available. So there is going to be an adjustment. A lot of times um, if it was, if you keep uh, high utilization or if you keep balances um, on other credit cards, you're going to see that your credit score is most likely going to go down because now you have money that's no longer available on this credit card. Unless this was that credit card that had a big balance and you paid it off like I'm closing this. Then in that case, then it can actually possibly help you. And just make sure you update your records. You know what's going on and then consider alternatives in terms of can I get a credit card with no annual fee? Can I downgrade my card? Could I talk to the company, see if they can fix whatever problem that I'm having so I don't have to close it? So definitely consider that when it comes down to closing your credit card.